Well, hello and welcome to another Chatterware tutorial. Today, uh, looking once more at Now We're Talking, uh, we had a, a couple of questions on the forums, on the Discord, with regards to um, the eyebrows and the eyes and how to get those to operate correctly. So first I'm going to show you on a Sinti character and to do that we've got the wonderful um, these this is actually the uh, female peasant from the polygon fantasy characters set uh, a fabulous set of of characters from the wonderful Sinti um, Sinti Studios in fact um, right so what we're gonna do is have a look at when you uh, uh, when you set up now we're talking which we've got set up here as you would normally do as per every other video literally just um, have a quick look here check the root make sure that that armature is one um, if you want to set it at normal settings or if it's 0 0.01 then when you pop now we're talking onto the head bone make sure you multiply it up uh, 100 or 150 to get it about the right size for lips pivot to work properly so um, you pop now we're talking prefab from the um, now we're talking uh, where are we this one this prefab here this one drag it drop it onto the head bone of the armature which is what causes the character to animate or gives the ability for the character to animate these are all the bones um, when you do that you get this script which is all the the relevant things that we've done before we've gone over this a few times that's how you set up voices and um, check out the other videos for that if you don't mind we specifically want to concentrate today on the eyes and the eyebrows and the blinks and the emotive blinks which are these guys here so let's let's get stuck in this is the character here we have uh, now we're talking and here we have you'll notice um, eyebrows and eyes let's look at the eyes first so let's move in having got the selector the move um, gizmo available you can see that eyes has a pivot point which is right in the center uh, on the bridge of the nose and that's important because that's where we're actually going to do all the manipulation from in code so if um, if you're using Sinti characters you can literally drag the eyes pop them into the eye slot and actually you could just drag the eyebrows and pop them into the eyebrow slot and out of the box that should now work so let's have a quick look at that and see if it's all operational um, oh right well we've got this lady she's sat down so bear with me a second we've got a bench say a bench we've got a we've got a cube that she can sit on right let's have a look at her eyes so she's blinking uh, she's flickering and let's just have a look at the settings her eyebrows are on as well let's turn a blink enough now and just have a look at the eyebrows so you can see what's happening is they're moving up and down a little bit squishing in and out now let's put an emotive blink on her and we'll turn the blink on and we'll just adjust the rate at which you can blink oh, can you see her eyes are just slowly moving up and down she's got sort of a little bit more emotion in them let's uh, turn the, the emotive blink off so what you can do is have all of these set up and just switch in code um, this is a character's face when you run a close-up possibly you probably wouldn't see it from from back here too much but when you're in a close-up position then this emotional I blink it's not really a blink it's more just kind of a dynamic movement um, and it and it looks really good um, now lips no not lips reducer max blink timer is set to 13 here so that's actually going to have a very small 
time difference potentially. This slider is the uh, a random number generator uh, for the maximum time there could be a gap between blinks. So if you don't want the character to blink very often, make this a much bigger um, a much bigger number. Of course, it's random between naught and that number, so it could always come um, lower, but also it can come larger. So it, it might be a long time. Here it, it could very possibly be 150 units, but it could also be 0 0.01. So if you want continuously quick, quick moving eyes, keep it, keep it right down here somewhere and you'll see the eyebrows are moving all the time now so in uh, in the middle of a conversation you can move uh, the slider in code and you can turn the emotive blinks on and off um, and that way you have a uh, pretty good control let's get rid of the gizmo so you get this very nice subtle movement on the eyebrows And a nice flicky flicker on the. Uh, let's just see if we move that camera down a bit. Whoops, there we go. As you can see, it's. I think that's very effective. Now, when she's speaking. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It it just livens the whole face up. How are things? Oh, just great. How are things? Now, we've got um, we've got the mouth here. Let's go and have a look at now we're talking again. And let's get the lips in place. So we'll just put those lips in. So when she speaks now, she should have lips. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That just helps define the edges. Good morning. Good morning. Now with the eyes going, the eyebrows going, the voice going, and the synchronization of the mouth. How are things? You've got a very dynamic character, I think. Oh, just great. How are things? So that's cool, but what if um, you want to make your own character? So um, what we're going to do, we're just going to turn this character off. And we're going to just make, uh, we're going to do this on the fly. I don't know if this is going to work, I haven't practiced it. So we've uh, we've got our own character now. Uh, I'm just going to use some basic primitives. We're going to use capsules and spheres. We've got um, now we're talking lined up. Uh, let's just make sure it's working okay. And we've got play or NWT play audio here. There we go. Morning. 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 How's it going? Let's get some lips on that guy. Oh, morning. Not bad, thanks. Smash him. Not bad, thanks. We're working a treat. So the next thing to do is to create an empty game object and call. I call these pivots because they're basically, it's going to be... Um, somewhere around the center of which something happens and we want to zero out the position of this uh, let's just find it in the scene this is going to be our pivot for um, our eyebrows so we're going to move it up into position and uh, it's going to be it's going to be somewhere there Ooh, no a bit higher probably and then I'm going to say, um, I'm going to make it pivot, eyebrows pivot, we're going to call it. Okay. And we want to copy that because we're going to want an eye pivot. And it's basically the same thing. It's an empty game object. Now the eyes are going to be a little bit lower than the eyebrow. So I'll just move the eyebrows up. Now if you look here, um, it's got a slight uh, Z because it's got to come to the front of the face and it's got a slight Y position on the Y axis because we're moving it up 
um, slightly. Zero, zero, zero is down here somewhere. We've moved it up 2.13 or something like that. Next thing we're going to do is put some spheres in. Uh, these are going to be the eyes. I'm going to have the teeth color on that just to give it a size, uh, uh, um, something that we can see. I'm going to reduce the eye down to about eyesight. Uh, uh, eyes height. <laughs> About there somewhere. So that, well, yeah, somewhere, somewhere sort of there. And we want two. So I'm going to make a second one and put it there. Now, this is going to be right eye. And this one's going to be left eye. And we're going to grab those and we're going to pop them into the eye pivot. Now at the minute the pivot is oh actually is that right? Mm, right the pivot is at one height and in actual fact the eyes are slightly offset so we're just going to I'm actually going to do something a bit odd here I'm going to zero the eyes out completely and then what we're going to do is going to move the pivot up and then the eyes either side and the reason we've done that is because all the blinking and stretching and squeezing and movement is done from the center of this pivot and so if the eye eyeballs are in the center of that pivot as well they will balance out evenly when we come to move them so let's just have a let's just have a look let's we're actually running and we're going to put um, we're going to put this these uh, this has got some old ones in that I was doing a little test with so we'll just get rid of those hold on right so those are those two there and um, I did a little setup just before I started to record to make sure that I got everything the way I needed it so I pivot we're going to drop into my eyes which is there and what should happen is immediately you should start to blink and we can do a, a little speedier blink or a slower down a blink and we can do an emotive blink if we want so that's kind of just a bit more the the eyes move over a sort of a lerp okay so that's that working so hold on a second you know what I just did I did a very silly thing. I did all that while I was running. So I've got one here that I made earlier. Hopefully. Let's have a look and make sure that works. There we go. So oh that's off off site a little bit off center a little bit so let's just move that into the center of it there we go and you do very much the same for the eyebrows so i'll just turn these on and then we'll have a little look at them i've made these out of capsules and what what the important thing to remember is that the pivot itself is what goes into um, let's just put those in there make sure we've got them in which goes into my eyebrows is it's the pivot and the reason it's the pivot is because all the manipulation is done from the center of that pivot um, these eyebrows are on the same vertical axis as the pivot so they're all at 2.19 high if I was to drag that out it would be 2.19 high because it's at zero zero on the pivot hope that makes sense so let's have a look at that in action just there we go and when you get him talking let's have a look morning 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 How's it going? Let's get some lips on him. 
Oh, morning. Not bad, thanks. And if we want to move them all up, we just take the pivots, in fact, and just move them slightly further away. That should be fine. Don't forget, we're going to have to, when we turn Unity off, that's going to slip back. But just to give you an impression of what it looks like up there. Not bad, thanks. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, just to go over it again, the pivot and the objects, whether it's eyes or eyebrows, all need to be on the same vertical height. So they need to be zeroed when they're children, like this. And then the movement of the uh, the squashing and the dynamic flicking and uh, the blinking will uh, will work automatically. So I hope that's uh, given you some insight into how that works. Um, and if you've been having trouble, it's probably because these are not at zero on the vertical axis. So I hope that that helps. And uh, if you have any other problems, please mention them in the Discord or uh, send us an email support at Chatterware. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Now We're Talking Chatterware Tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye now.